fourth annual Nigerians in the Diaspora Organization Conference provided an excellent opportunity for robust discuss on issues related to challenges and opportunities for Nigerians both at home and in the diaspora on this very important aspect of the nation's economy, especially energy and health, which have become a clog in the wheel of progress, as they say. In many cases, we are our own worst enemies. Our people even try to sabotage that effort. Because right now, some few people are making a whole lot of money out of the horrible condition of power system in our country. But I guarantee you that our president, His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, he is committed. In fact, he chairs the Presidential Action Committee that meets every Wednesday on this power reform. If you look at uh, other countries of the world, say India, for example, Japan, for example, and even China, there are people in these foreign lands, they keep on going home and relating with what happens in their own country. And you could now witness the tempo of development in such, in, in such countries. That is what we expect from Nigerians in diaspora. Acting High Commissioner of Nigeria to Canada, Mrs. Katian Jackdin, in a goodwill message said, Nigeria has entered its proud moments of national renaissance and the time is right for diaspora entrepreneurs to invest in the economy. Representative of the Head of Service of the Federation, Mrs. Temitokbe Adeniji Adeleye, says the reforms in the public sector will facilitate the process of the collaborative efforts. The goodwill messages from the Chairman of NIDO Americas and the Canadian High Commissioner to Nigeria celebrated the ingenuity of the average Nigerian and the positive outlook of the future. In Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Joy Seabu.